guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than the past Shop With Me's that I did or the two other Shop With Me's that I did. Um, I had a few technical difficulties last week when I was filming, uh, but I was very pleased with what I did film. So, here's my intro. Today's video is me shopping at my friend's shop in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. The shop is called Space. It's a phenomenal shop. Um, it literally is the best retro vintage um, antique uh, boutique, curiosity shop, everything into one in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So come with me as I shop this fun shop, and uh, it's owned by two of my, my dear friends, uh, Jesse and Todd. So come on, guys, here we go. And stick around after because I have a really, really fun unboxing I'm going to do. It'll be real quick, and um, maybe if that goes quick, I'll share with you my... Uh, Items for Monday night sale with Garden Guy Bill for Marvelous Mother Tucker's Monday. So, hope you enjoy the video, but stick around for the end. Uh, there's some goodies there, too. All right, guys, and this is what you see when you first come in. So, here at Space, they have not only tons of smalls, they actually sell furniture here. So, I'm just going to take my time and show you guys. I'm just going to pan around and give you guys an overview. Now again, remember you guys, we are in downtown Lancaster, so it is a sort of small building, but boy, do Jesse and Todd use every square inch of it, so they do have some newer things that are, you know, vintage and retro approved that fit the motif, so we'll start over here. They have some retro coasters, some retro barware, and what's nice about this is it fits in with your mid-century. And if you break it or get it damaged, you don't have to worry that you ruined originals. And this is also a great glass company that makes their own designs. And I think you have to be licensed to sell their items. And I think Jesse is approved to do so. Space is. And over here are some of their smalls. You can get everything for your man cave all the way down to your Betty Crocker kitchen and everything in between. They even have some reference books. You can get Fiesta Ware. Original Fiesta Ware. I love those aluminum tumblers. Folks say that things taste so much better in the aluminum tumblers. So here we go. Here's some more of the Atomic Drinkware. They're a fantastic company. I think they're a mom and pop business out of Florida. And Jesse supports another small business, or when I say Jesse or Todd, I should just say Space supports a small business and sells their drinkware. It's really good quality. Oh, I really want a set of these Christmas ones someday. Also here in Space, they do have two other dealers that rent space from them. So these are their showcases. What is that guy back there? Oh my God, I'm in love with that chef. He is the pasta, Luigi the pasta chef. New old stock. Okay, all right. We got some old school Tupperware down here. And again, if you guys are ever in the Lancaster, Pennsylvania area, you guys have to make your way in here. With the old kitchen glass, some more Fiesta. Oh, okay, so now we're gonna move you and pan you around here so you guys can see. Here's the way it is all set up. You guys can come in and get some authentic mid-century furniture. Todd and Jesse restore it, sell it here, and it's probably some of the cheapest prices you're gonna find around. So we'll keep moving around here. My personal favorite here and I may not even be doing a lot of stops, guys, because truth be told, <laughs> I've been in this shop a few times. So what I love is they're always fully stocked in tiki. So good. If you guys do like, you know, the Hawaiian look or you guys do a tiki bar, they always keep this fully stocked with some of the best authentic Hawaiian and tiki items. Look, they even have some of these newer and it's the aesthetic and the look. So 
so again guys and when I came in they were just working on this bedroom suit they literally just picked it up yesterday and started to redo it so let's keep on moving again guys I'll link all of their information down below the light fixtures are for sale the rugs are for sale the sofas are for sale I mean look at that velvet last supper like no dining room is complete without one and it's in this gorgeous, fully restored warehouse here in Lancaster. They also support another small business and they also sell these candles. I think he also sells Bear Soap. If you guys are familiar with Bear Soap, I've been told it's some of the best soap, especially for you folks that have beards. And then let's pan over here. And like I said, they do have two other dealers that do rent space from them. And you guys, I keep telling you, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania is the mecca for L.E. Smith, Moon and Star. I mean, I've never seen that much blue, Moon and Star all at once. Tons of Empoli, tons of Empoli. And I will show you guys some price tags here in a minute. So, like for example, that green Empoli right back there, it's only $40. I mean, that is really, really fair. I was looking at some of the Moon and Star, like those little salts, they're only $10 each. I mean, anywhere else, they're $30, those little Moon and Star salts. So the prices are below eBay on most of the stuff and below some of the other style shops like this. Oh my gosh, hold on here. Look at this macrame. I think this is an owl. Oh my. All right, guys, I'll be back in a moment. All right, you guys, don't you just feel like you walked into somebody's living room? I mean, I don't even know how much narrating I have to do. I think this all speaks for itself. It's just kind of eye candy, so. And they, got, they do, they restore, they clean the furniture. I know they've sent pieces out to be refinished. This is an original shag rug. Of course, I see a gorgeous smoothie swung vase before we get into the furniture let's see how much that is that's only 98 dollars that is a fair price with a mouth like that let's take a look at this tufted i think that's the right tufted sofa and i'm in love with this shadow box i mean that shadow box is phenomenal you guys can see me. And again, if you guys are ever in Lancaster on the first Friday, they stay open late. They actually have like a little party here at Space. So it's always a good time. So again, if you're in the area, stop on out. Man, and look at that. I think that's a lane. Not too sure. I mean, and they also pair everything right with authentic style lamps. And who doesn't need one of these rattan wicker chairs? I always think of Three's Company every time I see that. And I know, I didn't miss it, guys. Look at this mushroom footstool. I mean, honestly, that green at $124, that's a steal of a deal. That is a steal of a deal. And like I said, look at how they decorate. Don't you feel like you've just now gone from the, from the late 60s into the mid 1970s? I mean, look at this gorgeous acrylic. I think it's acrylic and glass. Dianette. I mean, $698? I'm in love with this back here. Let's slowly go back. I mean, look and how they pair the artwork all the way to the Lucite lamp. I'm in love with the television. Just television. Look at the metal legs. And of course, let's not forget the large, large lava lamp. 1950 Sylvania television. $500. That is not bad. I mean, you guys could take that tube out and put a flat screen in if you wanted to. Let's keep on going here. Oh my God. Look at that string art. 
Isn't that the most fantastic piece of string art you've ever seen? I mean, you guys, again, please make sure you're following them. I will link their Instagram down below. Jesse and Todd are always out trying to find some new things. Every time you come in, it looks different. My gosh, look at that leather. Would that be called a wingback? Maybe a wingback? Just gorgeous. And then over here, they have tons of vintage video games and vinyl. So give me a moment and I'll share that with you. But I just want to show you guys one more time. So you guys can get the feel for this. I'll show you everything above. All the way down to that gorgeous table. I mean, honestly, you guys, even if you're looking for like a Mad Men style desk, that's perfect. All right, give me a moment. I'll show you the video games. All right, you guys, if you guys are looking for almost anything nostalgic from the late 70s all the way up through the 90s, I know that Jesse restores video games and he is meticulous when it comes to finding the best and cleaning them so you could find them here guitar hero all the way down to living your youth again like i think any of us 80s or 90s kids remember those trash cans he also mixes in some reproduction style but very authentic looking lunch boxes because at the end of the day it's all about aesthetic too. I mean, and now we all know cassette tapes are back in fashion. Look at these flocking cats. Oh my God, they're bobbleheads. Oh my God, they're bobbleheads. $12, that is not bad at all. Look at the side eye on that one. Oh my gosh. Some more DVD, video games. And then my personal favorite back here is the vinyl. So it's literally your one-stop shop. I mean, you guys can come in here and get your video games, you can get your vinyl, you can get your kitsch, you can get your mid-century. Look at that telephone. All the way down to your granny crocheted afghan. I mean, you can just get everything all the way to the World Globe. Some Hager or Hall pottery, some Russell Wright. Tons of things, and look at this gorgeous hutch. That sun is catching that just right. And then you also have your cubist, maybe that's cubist, but your green uranium depression glass. I mean, it's like the best of all the generations. Look at that light catching it. Let's see how much that is. Let's see how much that is. $48, I mean, that is a stunning vase. over here just an amazing shop they take advantage of every little bit of square footage all right guys oh and guess what they also have clothing I'll show you that in a moment all right now it's not exactly mrs. Roper but holy moly like I said they have clothing they have women's apparel they have men's apparel look at these old bandanas and scarves I mean, and the prices are so reasonable. Four dollars, four dollars. I mean, that is the biggest thing here is that you guys can come in and you guys can go home with stuff. They have their little barware section. So if you have the man caves, and I think this is what I was also talking about. They have the beard oil. And then just to get an idea of where I'm at, that's where we were with all the furniture. telling you guys I'm not going to share everything with you because you guys got to make sure you get in here look they have vintage men's ties they have Hawaiian shirts like I said they have men's apparel women's apparel let me spin you around here they have vintage sunglasses and then here's some of the women's apparel look at that I think that's one of those little yeah that's one of those little vinyl lunch boxes $18 and then they have this reproduction or vintage inspired little handbag for California and then they just have racks and racks of vintage clothing 
I mean, even look at this. I mean, didn't we all know somebody in the 1980s that had one of these tasseled leather jackets? I mean, $45. And it's in beautiful condition. They have earrings and all sorts of jewelry. And it's the little touches here. They even pop in a lava lamp for aesthetic. I mean, honestly, you could spend hours here. Let me show you some of the men's apparel here. Let's just randomly check out this shirt. All right, you guys all remember the mask. And these t-shirts are so popular. 125, that is, I mean, you're not gonna find one in that good a condition. Plus, you can come here and you can try it on. That way you know it's gonna fit. Okay guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that shop with me. Um, I had a really good time. Uh, the shop again, its name is Space. It's located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm gonna link all of their uh, social media down below. So if you're ever in the area, please make sure you head in and say hello to uh, Jesse and Todd. Um, like I said in the intro, it's, it's one of the best curations um, of mid-century, um, vintage, antiques, curiosity things, different things, and it's constantly changing. Those guys uh, switch over their inventory a lot, so uh, it's one of the shops that you could probably go in every week and it would look a little bit different. So please give them a follow, and, and uh, Jesse and Todd, thank you guys for always being so supportive of Mother Tucker's, and um, thanks for letting me come in and film. And I will go back uh, maybe again in a few more months and film another one in there. So uh, watch for that. But like I promised, I purchased this about a month ago. It was about a month ago now uh, from Catherine Young. So Catherine Young has a very phenomenal uh, YouTube channel. Please make sure you guys are subscribed to her. I will link uh, her information down below in the description of this video. But she hosts uh, some live sales on um Saturday mornings, and they're really fun. Like you can get a cup of coffee, you can just hang out with her. They're usually, I think, at noontime Eastern, so if you guys are on the West Coast, it could be like a nice morning thing, but nonetheless, she had some fun items, and I bought this from her. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box. I'm gonna show you what I bought from her, because I'm really excited, and I can't wait to share it with you and enjoy it. So, for me, no wait. For you, it'll be a moment. For me, it'll be however long it takes me to open this box. So I'll be right back. Just wait, just wait right there. Wait right there. Don't move. Wait right there. I'll be I'll wait, wait, wait there. I'll be right back. I did want to show you guys while I'm opening it. She does a phenomenal job packing. So um, I always, as resellers, we all want to share with you guys. If you've never purchased from us, we all strive to be the best packing uh, professionals as we can. And Catherine is always tops. This is probably the second time I've bought from her. It's always very professional, very clean. It always gets here safe. So I did want to share that with you guys. Um, so there, there that is. Um, great job, Catherine. All right, you guys, I got everything unpacked. And I bought three items from her. What Catherine does is, um, at the end of her sales, she does these add-ons. So if you purchase from her that day on that live she offers up these things and it's a tremendous deal and uh she does them as quick claims and then you can purchase them and she'll add them to your box so um i actually have candlestick holders that i want to pair with this and maybe offer to sell or someday i'm going to do like an all love sale anything that says love so on and so forth so i could not pass this cruel up which i'm pretty sure this is a cruel but this is a great, I think this is 60s, probably more 70s, 80s. It's a new old stock. Get the glare off. And yeah, it's God is love. And look at all these great details. Look at the sunshine in there, the teddy bear, hearts, bluebird. So that I'm going to bring, maybe sell it to shop, maybe take to a live, I'm not too sure. So I also purchased this from her. If you guys know Mother Tucker's and you know the channel, you know we're really into Christmas. Valentine's and Easter. Those are our three holidays. So I needed this cutie and he, they, so this little pink, hopefully it's reading uh, right on the screen for you. He is pink and he's this cute little cherub and I didn't realize that he's actually marked. See if I can show you guys here. Let's get in on it. It's stamped made in Italy. So that that's, 
Yeah, I mean, this is so great. And this will be in our Valentine's Day, in our Valentine's Day display. So um, cute little figurine. And I love the fact that it's all pink. So thank you, Catherine. Now, guys, I saw the video when Catherine got these. So Tina collects poodles, me and Tina collect poodles. We did sell off some of our collection a few years back. So I don't want to say I have a regret about it, but I miss some of them. You know, we did have a pretty good 50s, 1950s, 60s spaghetti poodle collection. So, um, like I said, we sold some of them off. We kept a few. And now I feel like, and I think Tina does too, that we need to uh, get some of those back in the form of different ones and, you know, boost the collection a little bit. So, guys, what I'm going to show you has to be one of a kind. It has to be artist made. These have to be from the late 50s, early 60s. It had to either have been, in my opinion, a gag that maybe somebody, because I know back in the day, poodle breeders, they were hardcore. And I was a baby. We had a poodle uh, named Candy. Um, it was a toy poodle. Like, it was, it was a real thing back then. Poodles were really in fashion, uh, 50s and 60s, fell off a little bit, came back. So I'm thinking one of two things. These were either... Uh, maybe folks that, you know, would show poodles, they maybe married two of them and had these, probably more so this was a, a bride and groom, and this was a gift, or maybe they used it. So without further ado, these are the most epic, look at them, they're, oh my god, they are spaghetti poodles, and it is a bride and groom, it's a bride and groom, so let's start with her, let's start with the lady of the hour, so they are whales, so they are whales, which is a great ceramics company, but they adorned her. Well, first of all, I believe that the uh, a lot of the pearls, I bet you there were rhinestones in there, and the person took them out and put in pearls in that bow, but look at that. They gave her a veil. They gave her some millinery flowers. They adorned her with pearls. Look at the earring. So some of the pearls are missing. We will find period correct replacements. I didn't realize until I opened it now that she has earrings. So she is missing one of her earrings. Easy fix. We will fix her all up. We knew that when we, we knew that there were pearls and things missing when we purchased them. But oh my God, these will stay with us. These are going to stay with us for a good, good long time, if not forever. So there she is. Look at the lashes, the rhinestone eyes, very good condition. And we will find some more of those uh, pearls, and we will add another earring to her. So she's even more fabulous. Oh my God, I can't. I can't with that crinoline. Oh my Lord. Now we have the dapper groom. Look at him. Somebody has taken felt, created him his vest. He has his little uh, corsage right there. Very good condition. S super cool. Gotta be one of a kind, and I am so grateful. Yep, so they are the same exact company. Thank you, Catherine. And I'm so grateful to have <laughs> grateful to have these and add these to our collection. So thank you so much. Now I think I'm going to share with you some of the items coming up on Monday night sale. So this will be up today, which will be, gosh, I think it's the ninth. I think today's the ninth. So just let me get the camera off here. Let me go over here and show you, and I'll be more specific with the dates in a minute. So stay right there. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Now I'm going to quickly show with you the items that we're going to have for Marvelous Mother Tucker's Monday, and it will be February 12th, okay? Um, I'm adding this in on Friday the 9th, and this video will go up on the 9th. So I'm going to quickly share with you. I'm bringing some different things. So I'm a little nervous, so that's why I'm tacking this on to the end of the video because I want to give it um, I want to give it some extra air time because I'm a little nervous. And some of the things I haven't sold for a long time, so I have to do a little bit of research. So I'll be a little vague right now when I show them to you, but um, I'm excited because they're really antiques. They're kind of what I do at the store, so. Uh, hopefully you guys will appreciate them, and these things will all be available on Monday during Marvelous Mother Tucker's Monday, which this sale will be on February 12th with Bill, Garden Guy Bill, at 8 p.m. on my channel. So hold on here. Let me flip you around. All right, guys. It's not going to look. Well, it's just different. So 
All right, guys, we're gonna do it. I got a great got great reviews when I sold the tiny little Capitamonte, a uh, little covered jar. I have this. I'm gonna call it like an urn or a vase. So, this is earlier Italian Capitamonte. Usually, these can be damaged. There's the underneath mark. This one's in perfect condition. So, again, I haven't sold some of this stuff for a long time, so I can tell you that, you know, that's 50s earlier, but I have to check the marks on the bottom and things like that to be more specific. So, I can tell you that's at least, <clears throat> pardon me, that's 60s, 50s earlier. So, that I know for a fact. So, I'm bringing, I have choice. I have this lovely lady in pink and I have one in green. If you guys aren't familiar with these figurines, they are porcelain, but what they do is they would dip the lace, <clears throat> pardon me guys, um, they would dip the lace and stiffen it. So this isn't as hard as some of the lace that they dipped in the ceramics, but then there would be pieces where they took lace and hardened it and then, you know, attached it to or applied it to the porcelain girls. So look at her parasol. Am I saying that right? We'll just call it an umbrella. So you can see each one has their umbrella. So I thought they would be different for your spring decor. We have a piper. I'm going to call him a piper. He's occupied Japan. We have this gorgeous china plate. No damage. Stamp Germany. So we have these cranes. Oh, sorry, that's a gnarly uh, shadow on there. So just deal with me. Guys, I have a set of early Mother of Pearl opera glasses. So I'm going to do some more research on those. Look at the leather case. The wear is perfect. The patina on them is perfect. So I'll give you more details on Monday night. Exactly the company, but those suckers, they're old. Then I have this great brooch. Look at those dogs. This is an early, it almost feels like it's coming out of the celluloid era into the plastic era. So I'll give you more details on that. Then I have some glass. So like I said, I'll be vague today. We'll get into more detail on Monday. Mixing the gold with the green in the way of amber glass. So I have this gorgeous console bowl made by Viking, part of the Epic line. That will be available. And I have some of these new old stock, probably from the 50s, four different animals still in their pack. So that's blown glass. So they're going to be available. I think they're neat. You'll have to tune in Monday to see what other three animals I have. <sighs> this, this is incredible. That is what I believe, and I need to do a little more research, a Victorian pencil case. And it has just the right wear, has just the right age, with all those birds on there. So stay tuned on Monday. I'll give you some more details on it, but I, the state I purchased it from, and everything I know about it, I'm pretty sure that's an early, lacquered, uh, Victorian pencil box. So I have some Wade leprechauns that will be coming. Then these are, I don't want to break his ear off, excuse my finger. They're, yes, they're, they're Orleans, Norlands. So that's a full set of Norland bunnies, no damage to the ears. Of course, I know folks liked bunnies in the Victorian era, so I thought it kind of fit. But again, with Easter coming, and they will be sold as a set. So they got to stay together. I bought them together. They're going to stay together. There's no damage to the ears. Need I say more about that gorgeous glass vase? Look at the three feet. You can only see two of them, but there's three feet. So we'll go more in depth on that on Monday. That's that other figurine that I told you, the porcelain figurine. I have a gorgeous motto about your home. That is actually foiled. The house is foiled. I have a gorgeous planter of this girl. It's McCoy, and I cannot believe her. Should I say I believe it's McCoy? I'm almost certain it is. I will do some more research again before Monday, but the fact that she has that much paint on her and her face, so good. And then I'll have choice on some bone china salt and pepper shakers. So there you have it, guys. Monday, February 12th, 8 p.m. Eastern. These will be the items I'm bringing to marvelous Mother Tucker's Monday. So um, I know myself and Bill, we are shies. 
we're striving to bring you guys some different and unique things. So we don't, oh, I hate that wallpaper. So there we go, get myself in front, there we go. So we're striving to bring you guys some different things. We want them to uh, stay in, I want it to stay true to me because I, I am a lover of kitchen mid-century. But by trait, especially owning the uh, shop, we sell vintage and antiques. So we're striving to, throughout the year with all of our sales, bring you things that are different, things that you don't always see, um, things that are a good value at a good price. So that's, that's asking for the moon. So, But that's what we're trying to do. So guys, thank you again for coming with me today to my friend's shop space in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Thank, thank you, Catherine Young, for the incredible poodles and cherub. Great packing job. Follow her. Follow her channel. And come over and hang out with me and Garden Guy Bill on Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, here on my channel, Mother Tucker's Antiques. And guys, thank you so much. We hit 3,000 subscribers. So that, that may not sound like a large number, but that's a big deal to us. So personal thank you to everyone who supported us and has come along for this fun crazy ride. So till the next one, guys, please make sure you are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please hit that notification bell. Please leave a comment and we'll see you again back here soon. Till then. Bye everybody. Have a good weekend.